Um, anyways, sorry, I'm I probably acting like a little kid right now. <gasps> oh my gosh. I just looked down in the water while I'm sitting here talking to you guys. Look what I see in the water. Check that out. I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh my gosh, it's a So I haven't been out detecting for maybe a month and a half or so. Came back to a spot where I found the Confederate reed shell, which was, I dug it right there. And so the water's gone down in this slough some. So there was about, there were about 10,000 Union troops come right through this spot right here. And I know there's stuff in this slough. I just hope it dries up a little bit more, but I think I may possibly have another artillery shell. I'm digging in this hole right now, just a little over a foot down, and still getting a really strong signal that sounded just like that uh, reed shell I dug. So we'll see what it is. Okay, so that was not an artillery shell. That was a, well, I threw it up on the bank, but it was a, just a, a bolt. But this is what I've dug so far, uh, a little pocket watch part, a mule shoe, and some horse or mule tack. And I just now dug this 44 Colt pistol bullet uh, right here. And I'm going to keep looking around here and see what else we can find. I'm shaking so bad right now. I cannot, be I cannot believe what I just found. I don't even know what to say. I dropped it in the water. I'm shaking the camera, sorry. I dropped it back in the water. It gave me like a high tone and a low tone. So I thought well, maybe just a big chunk of iron. No, 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 that's not what it was. I, I picked it up and I dropped it. I'm confused because I know what it is. I don't know why it's in there, but y'all, I'm telling you what. So I've dug a lot of cool stuff, but I've never dug one of these. And the shape that it's in, that from what I can see, Okay, here we go. I gotta kind of compose myself here. I think there's gonna be a lot more in here. Um, anyways, sorry, I'm, I'm probably acting like a little kid right now. <gasps> oh my gosh. Whew. I just looked down in the water while I'm sitting here talking to you guys. Look what I see in the water. Check that out. I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh my gosh, it's a bayonet. <sighs> okay, I'm about to pull it out first. I'm just shaking so bad right now. Holy cow. Whoa. You have got to be kidding me. Okay, I'm going to set this down. I'm just going to keep on recording. Okay, look, it's still got the brass uh, part of the scabbard right there, okay? Okay, okay. Now, on to this. Oh my gosh, there's no telling what's in this thing. Y'all are gonna freak out. Hopefully about as much as I did when I pulled this out of the water. Are you ready? What is that doing in there? Okay, I don't know if it's part of, you know, that bayonet or what. I'm sorry, I'm shaking so bad. But that, I believe it's a, I believe it's a, a, a belt buckle. I'm pretty sure it's going to be U.S. But look at that, how the, it's, the leather has been preserved in that mud. It was only like, I don't know, a couple of inches deep. All right, we're going to pull it out together. I got my, I'm going to be careful. I'm still shaking so bad. Okay, here we go. 
Sorry, y'all, I'm just a little bit excited and I hope you're excited with me. Okay. I mean, what is that doing in there? So this, this would hold a bayonet and I'm so confused, but I'm gonna be careful. I don't know what that is right there, but we're gonna pull this out together, okay? Here we go. Try not to scratch it up too much. I'll be very careful here. Oh my God, it's a puppy paw. That's what they would call a puppy paw uh, buckle. That is 100% a buckle. All right, we're gonna take it over to the water. Rinse it off. It's very possible that that would have could have possibly been in it. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, but still got the. Uh, I guess that's part of the. Yeah, part of the leather. I'm not going to clean that. We're going to leave that just as it is. I got to be super careful with this. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'll be able to drive home after that. Okay, I'm gonna set this over here. What I'm gonna do is leave this leather in the water for now because I don't know the proper uh, procedure for keeping that, keeping it safe. So I'm gonna set it right here. Uh oh. Mm. <sighs> Unbelievable. Un. Believable. Thank you, Lord, for leading me to that one. Gosh, dog. Mm, mm, mm. Man alive. Okay, guys. See what else we can find. So I've been looking around. I found a few little iron pieces and and um, a couple of little bucky balls and. I just dug this musket ball right here, 58 caliber musket ball. And I haven't had too many bullet signals, but I'm, there's so many signals I'm kind of overwhelmed that I'm not able to really film it because I'm in the water. I don't have my GoPro. And so we'll see what else uh, I can pull out. It's a huge haul just ran up on me a second ago. I forget my pistol at home. Anyways, you got to be careful. They're thick down here. So I just dug this. Hold on, I'll show you. I just dug this. Big old strap buckle. It, I've never seen anything like that before. I don't know if it's war period, but I don't know what kind of material it is. But it, uh, it was deep. It was deep in the clay, which makes me think it's period. But again, I've never seen anything like it. So I don't know. I'll do a little research on it and post the uh, identification here so it just gets better I'm not shaking as bad but I just dug this piece of leather and I got an extremely awesome tone right there in the middle of the water and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a box plate a US so I think the whole cartridge box is probably there. It may have bullets in it. I don't even know. The thing is, it's in like extremely tough mud or clay. And so it's going to be very hard to dig out. So I'm going to have to carefully dig it out around it. And man, I wish I had my GoPro. Anyways, I'm going to be careful and see if I can get it out without damaging it too bad. So we'll see. this couldn't get any crazier i don't know what y'all think i've lost my mind seriously wow i'm just gonna show you that's all i know to do look at that that is definitely a u.s box plate what's left i tried to save what i could of it it's just it took me about an hour to dig around in the mud and try to save it, but golly, but that's not, I mean, it's just, hold on a minute, okay? Check this.
look at that. It's held on by a square nail going through the hooks to hold it on there. Unbelievable. Seriously, I got to be super careful with this. It's so fragile. Guys, is that not insane? Man, the good Lord has blessed me today. Can't believe it. Look, all right, we'll go back over here and look at this again. I just took it out of the water. But I've just got it sitting here. Just wild. Super wild. I probably sound stupid right now, but I don't care. How did this even happen? I don't even really care to show you the other stuff I found, but I've got some horseshoes. And I found quite a few of those and a uh, musket ball or two, you know, so. <sighs> okay, so I've dug more of the leather out just a little bit at a time. It's just falling apart. But looky what else is in there. We've got bullets, folks. All right, I'm going to get them all out that I can, so. Stand by. So I kind of wanted to show you that dark mud there is right in the center of the cartridge box. You can see here I've got three bullets there and that's the tin um, container that the bullets would have been in inside the, the leather pouch. So I'm gonna keep on digging it up. Just wow. I'm not going to leave this out of the water too long, but I just wanted to show you guys here. Look at this. This is still in the mud here. And I believe all the bullets are going to be in there. It's a piece there. Just being extremely careful here. I'm going to pull this apart together. I don't know how much is in here. But... Sorry about the heavy breathing. Yeah, look at that. There's the, the percur uh, per, excuse me, the percussion caps would have been in this little box right here. There's a little finial right there. There may still be some percussion caps in there. That stuff is just so delicate. It's part of his belt right there. I mean, his whole, I'm assuming it's one soldier. All of this stuff was just right together. So... It's just crumbling apart, and I want to get it before it dries. Yep, part of his belt right there. You can see the loops in there. This is not wild. There may be some bullets in here. I'm not sure. There's a little piece right there or something. Okay, there's still more in the hole. Can't even talk. So I'm going to get it out. So I'm letting that stuff right there soak in water. In the meantime, uh, these are the bullets that I've pulled out so far. And of course, there's still more. I would assume he's got a full cartridge box just because they weren't actually fighting uh, at this point. Uh, so I'm going to get back in the slough and see what else I can pull out. I feel some more leather. I think it may be the backside to the cartridge box. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. We'll find out. Okay, so I'm still digging <clears throat> in the hole here. I just found the base to the cartridge box. It still has the finial there. It has the strap on it. It's just, in that mud, it's just impossible to get out. And it's just falling apart. I'm going to try to uh, preserve it the best I can. So I'm going to set it over here with the rest of this stuff here. And keep searching around. There may be some more bullets in the hole. I'm not sure, but we'll check it out. Okay, I've pulled a couple more bullets out of the hole. And this was down in the base, I guess, with the base of the cartridge box. It's thin brass. I have no idea what this is. I've never seen one before. Uh, the top screws off here. And uh, there's some sort of cap here at the bottom that comes off. It's very interesting. I have no idea what it is, but I'll be sure and 
and uh, let you guys know. So, wow, what a day. So I can't even carry all this stuff out right now. I'd have like 15 horseshoes and I've got everything here. I'm about to put some water in that and let it soak. And there we go. I think there's a total of 36 bullets. I think I did find a, well, a musket ball, but I don't know where I put it. And then a sharps. But anyway, it's gonna be hard to top that, but it just never gets old. So on to the next spot. spot here in South Arkansas where we know a lot of Federals were and uh, uh, I came down here with him today and this hopefully some of these videos will help dispel any of the notions that this stuff was planted or um, reenactment or whatnot we know for sure that this stuff was was cast away and uh, it's a lot of leather goods and stuff like that and Brandon has just uh, recovered a uh, cap box so we're going to get some of this on video for you yeah i got meg's brainer here filming for me today and he's going to he's going to help me find some of the stuff that i'm sure i left behind when i was here the other day but i did leave the cap box in the water but we just found it and there's is what's left of it yeah you can see the finial on the bottom side of it there and i think his caps his caps are going to be right there. A bunch of caps are going to be right in the water here. This is really cool to watch this. Uh, we've known stuff was in some of this water for years, but Brandon has had the patience and perseverance to, to get in the water and actually locate it. So this is, this is really cool. I'm not sure if my pinpointer will pick up some of the percussion caps, so we may have to dig them out by hand. Sounds like several in there. Possibly. Yep, there's one right there. Yeah, there's a cap. Look, it's just shiny copper. Shiny as it can be. Just like just like the day it was was dropped. Very cool, very cool, very cool. A lot of people wouldn't fool with these caps, but in my opinion, this is a pretty historic moment. So I think we'll we'll probably we'll probably try to get them. There's one right there. Okay, we're going to get some more of these caps out, and we're going to look around, see what else we can find, and we'll get back with you. Brandon, you ready to cut it off? Yeah, that's fine. Yep. All right, we'll be getting back with you here. We've already picked up about four right there. Yeah, there's several signals in here. I'm not going to film all of it, but this one's still in the clump here. Oh, there it is. Another mini ball. Make sure there's not another one. Let's see that dude. There it is, boys, boys and girls. There's another. Okie doke. Okay, filming Brandon here. Take it, Brandon. Okay. Once again, out of breath. My heart's been through a lot the last few days. So we dug the cartridge box and other accoutrements right over here, just around this little bend. The military road uh, is nearby. And I got a booming signal right here. reach my hand down in the water and I can feel the nose of an artillery shell. I don't know what it is. Well, we're going to see it come up out of the water right here. We're definitely going to see it. <clears throat> you ready? I'm breath. I'm holding my breath. I'm gonna clean it off a little bit. 
Oh I'm fixing it. Am I fixing to say bingo? Yes, you're definitely going to say bingo. Look oh, at that. Oh my God. 3.5 inch read. Oh my with, gosh. With, with Sabbath. Oh my gosh. Fantastic. That's unbelievable. Fantastic. Oh my gosh. Look at that Sabbath. Yeah, still got gunpowder on it. Here, I'll bring it up here a little bit closer. That's one of Shelby's. Shelby's shells that was captured and they they decided to let her go. Man, wow, that's congratulations. Thank you. Look how good shape it's in. That was perfect. Yeah. That mud or clay has just preserved it so well. Unbelievable. Look at the sabot on that thing. Unbelievable. Look at that. Wow. Oh man. <clears throat> Looky there boys. Brandon has Hit, hit Confederate gold. This thing's gonna be a beauty. Well, all I can say is my hat's off to him. He's in knee deep water. I already filled my boots up with water, but this <laughs> dais won't won't go in that deep. But man, I'm glad to see this happen. Let's see if we get some more, man. Congratulations, The day we were delivered. If you're baptized by the water. Baptized by the waters in your free.